My name is uh, Esprit and I'm a designer and creator and I've been here for three and a half years. I'm an architect and I worked for an architecture company before I started at Lego. I want to show you something that might come as a big surprise. Um, it's a new big building in the modular building series. Ta-da! It's a town hall. Um, which has been missing in the modular building series for quite some time now. Uh, so I'm very pleased to present this to you. And also uh, you might think it's uh, a bit interesting that it's not Jamie Brad sitting here uh, presenting the next one. During the research um, I looked at a lot of different town halls um, and I think I've tried to really capture the uh, iconic um, elements in, in town halls. As you can see, it's a very uh, tall building, and it's actually the tallest one of the modular buildings. Um, we wanted the town hall to be this, um, the most impressive in its uh, size. Um, and we have three floors. Um, also, when I did the research on uh, looks of town halls and what is the most iconic, um, almost 90% of, of all the buildings were uh, symmetrically built. Um, so if, uh, done the same here with the entrance in the center um, and then I've done uh, tried to have each floor in a different um, with a different look so it adds more variety to the facade uh, and also it's it's a more of a fun um, build and color wise uh, I've chosen this dark orange uh, and white uh, because on many municipal buildings uh, you see this uh, reddish uh, brown stonework um, and you see white pillars and, and white uh, windows. Um, so I've tried to capture that with uh, this, these colors. And what you see here is, yeah, there's four pillars uh, and staircase uh, and some tall doors uh, to uh, kind of welcome the visitor. Um, and then we have designed a, a special crest uh, for this building. Um, it's actually Bilon's uh, crest. Bilon is a city where Lego come from. Um, but we have used this pattern and then designed it in an old style. So it's the modular building's um, crest now. Uh, on top of that we have a balcony where the mayor can greet the people. Um, and further up we have the year 1891. And uh, that defines when the building uh, was built. Uh, but it's also the year where Ole Kirk Christiansen, the founder of Lego, was born. Uh, and the fun coincidence is that if you read it uh, backwards, uh, it's actually my birth year. Um, further up, you see the clock tower. Um, and we also have a, a print made specifically for this model. Um, and the nice thing about it is that you can actually turn the clock and uh, set the time as uh, you want it. Um, then on the roof um, we have this uh, skylight that uh, Jamie Barat designed and I think he did an excellent job on this. On the back you see a uh, second entrance to the building. There are some tall buildings, um, windows adding a, a lot of light uh, inside. And um, you might wonder what this um, opening is for. Well, that's actually for an, an elevator to slide up and down. Uh, and you can fix the elevator at uh, each floor. And then when you take the building apart, the elevator comes with it. And then we have eight minifigures in this set. Um, we have the mayor, of course. His secretary, a lady from the press, the janitor, and uh, two kids, and then this uh, wedding couple. Um, and we have a new print on the bride's torso, uh, which is made specially for this set. Um, and there's this old tradition that you have to wear something old, and something new, and something borrowed, and something blue. And we have tried to fit that in a bit, because um, she's wearing a blue necklace, and yeah, it's a new print. So, let's go inside the building. So, you enter through the tall, um, dark green doors, um, and 
you enter this hallway from, from where you can visit the tax office in here uh, or walk through to the uh, auditorium um, or you can continue through the hall to the elevator so next floor you're going up with the elevator and you lock it here and open the door and here you have the secretary um, welcoming you um, and then you can continue here and uh, you can have a look at the auditorium um, you can open the door to the balcony um, and then we have the mayor's office it has this uh, nice cozy um, interior and then the next floor up here you can see the big meeting room it has a very long table and at the end it has the biggest and nicest looking uh, chair and that's of course where the mayor sits because I thought it would be a bit fun to design it like a uh, king's chairs in the old days um, and there's also this uh, globe uh, as part of the interior and again you can overlook the auditorium downstairs from inside the elevator there's this uh, ladder and that's how the janitor gets up on the roof so he comes up here and here you have the nice skylight uh, that also brings a lot of light uh, inside the building and here you have a ladder the janitor's ladder is in there and he keeps other stuff uh, inside the tower and from up here there's a great view of the grand emporium the pet shop the fire brigade and uh, all the other fantastic buildings something i think is uh, quite fun about the uh, um, facade is uh, these elements here and here which you often see used as uh, wheel arches on vehicles um, so I think it's quite fun that you can actually use them as a detail for windows um, and another favorite little element I have here is uh, these one by one round tiles um, brand new element um, and it it adds something nice to the detailing it's been a great pleasure showing you this model and I really hope you have fun with the set.